hello everyone in today's video we are going to sew our test fit so remember the basic bodies block that we worked on a few weeks ago that's what we'll be using to do our test fit today so you're going to fold a two yards fabric preferably um, a gray bath you fold it into two and then you press the folded edge that is you iron the folded edge so that's smooth as you see in the video now once you're done with that you take your front basic bodies block and you align the straight edge with the folded edge of the fabric and then you pin to the fabric so you make sure that the folded edge is aligned with the edge of the basic bodies block as it's been demonstrated in the video and you pin with you pin the basic bodies block to the fabric So this is actually going to be the first garment that you are sewing. The aim of the basic bodies uh, of the test fit, sorry, is to ensure that the measurement that we've taken are all accurate. And once that is ensured, we can then move on to designing different styles and all that. now my fabric is actually a very stubborn fabric no matter how much i press and iron it it still looks crumpled so don't worry about that i'm very sorry for how my fabric looks like so once you're done we're now going to place our back basic bodies block on the fabric so um you're going to ensure that the the basic bodies block is straight and to do that you are going to use our green line so from the green line to the edge of the folded fabric I'm using 18 inches but depending on if you are bigger than me you need maybe 20 inches or 22 inches that is from the green line the straight line on the basic bodies block to the edge of the folded fabric so you're going to measure that distance from the beginning of the green line and you're going to measure that distance again at the end of the green line and that is how you are going to make sure that your busy bodies block is straightly placed on the fabric this is to ensure that when you are joining um, different curtains you will do it very easily if you don't use this method you're going to find have some difficulties when you are trying to join two curtains together when you're done with that then you just do your pinning like you did on the front basic bodies blog. So this is actually going to be your first garment. And with a basic bodies blog, you can design almost every style in the world. So once you are sure that your measurements are accurate, you can go ahead and use it to design everything design a skirt design a blouse whatever then when we are done we're now going to mark our seam allowance so neckline seam allowance is two eight that is quarter inch and then your shoulder seam allowance is half inch or four eight The short, the sorry, the armhole allowance is also half inch. That is for eight. So you are going to mark it using your tape measure and your pencil, or you can use the tailor's chalk. Now the size seam allowance is one inch. One inch. Um, eventually, as time goes on, you can start using one and a half inch. But since for now, um, sewing, you just started sewing. I think it's best to start with one inch. So you mark one inch, that is from the edge of the basic bodies block. You mark one inch.
and the hem the seam allowance at the hem that is the down part is one inch so again you do the same for the back basic bodies block neckline to eight shoulder is half inch you mark it so you have to take your time and do it so that you get the accurate measurements you have to ensure that you place the tape measure at the edge of the basic bodies block and outward you mark your half inch your two eight or your one inch, depending on where you are marking so the armhole is half inch and then the side like i said is one inch now the zip line so the zip line is one inch one inch allowance this is where we'll be fixing our zip but in this video we are not going to fix the zip because um it's another long process you know teaching you so i don't want to merge all together we'll do that in the next video now when you're done you're going to connect all your markings you can use a pencil or you can use um tailor's chalk but please don't use a pen i'm using a pen because i want you to see exactly what i'm doing and a straight side you can use your ruler to connect you can also use your hip curve to connect to this side or you can go free hand if you are good at that I want to sincerely apologize because there's too much noise in my background like oh my god too much noise so apologies for all the noise that you're hearing I hope you can actually hear me speak So the truth is that the right thing to do is that when you design something on a pattern, you have to get your final pattern on which your um, allowance is already inputted on that final pattern before you lay it on the fabric. But because this one is just the same thing that we are placing on the fabric, that's why we are using this method. So this is actually a lazy man method. So this is what we have so far. I forgot to you know connect the markings at the hem but remember to do that so this is what we have so far and the next thing we are going to do is that now we are going to cut on the lines that has been drawn so that's where you're going to cut you don't cut at the edge of the brown paper itself but then you cut at the edge of the seam allowances that we've just finished working on so you just take your time and cut
so after cutting this is what we have so you can see the seam allowance the one inch on the side half inch on the arm and shoulder and then the two eight at the neckline and also the one inch at the hem now when you're done with that you're going to unpin a side of the bodice so you do this both on the front and the back of the, the that is the front basic block and the back basic block then you're going to place a carbon paper in between so if you're placing a carbon paper in between then it means that when you were folding your fabric you folded the right side outward so the inner side is your wrong side if your inner side is actually your right side then you, you don't place your carbon paper like i did you're going to place your carbon paper in between the brown paper and the fabric on the first side and then underneath it in between the fabric and then the table so you're going to have two brown papers that you're going to use that is if you folded your fabric with the right side inward so when you do that then you're going to trace your dots as i'm doing in the video now i needed to explain that to you but if your fabric is such so that there's no difference between the front and the back the right side and the wrong side then it doesn't matter then when you're done with that you're now going to trace the edges of the bodies that is in order to get your seam allowance well i am good at um sewing so i won't trace all over but for you you're going to do that but then remember that when you're doing that to pin a side of the body's blow before you unpin another side so when you trace a part you pin it back and then you unpin the other side and then you continue so when you're done with all that then you can unpin all your body's block so you have now your fabric with your trace um that and also your trace seam allowances So this is what we have so far. This is the front. So while because we placed it on full, so you can see we have the two sides, and then this is the back with the zip line where the zip is going to be placed. So once we're done with that, we're now going to work on our dart. We're going to pin our dart. So the use of that is that it takes out excess. So from your bust to your waist remember your waist is actually smaller than your bust and hip so from your waist to your that from your waist to your bust and then from your waist to your hip so it takes out that excess that is there so that you don't have that sharpness at the edges so that's the use and at the end you are going to realize that this that can take out all the excess so eventually as you move on with our tutorials we are going to learn what we call contouring and when we learn contouring you're going to learn how to take out extra excess at your under bust and also at your upper bust to give that um, com um correct you know um, um look but this is the beginner's level this is the dart for a beginner to take so you're going to pin the darts so you do that for all the dots, the two at the back and then the two at the front. So this is the results for the back. Then you're going to sew the dots. Sewing dots is actually not easy. Um, as when I was beginning, that was one of the hardest thing for me to sew. You end up um sewing on or stitching because i didn't realize that you didn't pass through all the you know all the traced um dots so um you need to be very patient here you need to be ready to unstitch if you do the wrong thing because that's the only way for you to get the right thing and take your time and do this so as you sew on you remove your pins And always remember to reinforce your stitches at the beginning at the end of your stitches so you do you reverse and then you move on to reinforce it
so after sewing all that that is what we have for the front so you can see that shape there's more shapeness in it after sewing the darts and so this is what we have for the back now we are going to join our shoulders so we're going to pin so um right side facing right side so the wrong side will be outward so you pin the shoulders now when you're done painting you're going to sew the shoulders so remember the seam allowance for the shoulders is half inch so if you did trace the seam allowance using the carbon paper you're going to use the marking to uh, sew so you're going to sew on the marking so you have to make sure that the shoulder is aligned the two shoulder the front and the back is aligned once you are aligned and you sew on the markings you are going to get it correctly but if you didn't use the carbon paper to trace then you have to use the markings on the on the sewing machine the guidelines on the sewing machine remember the video i did before this one where i showed how to sew straight lines i talked about guidelines on the sewing machine so you are going to use that to sew in case you didn't do the carbon paper So once you're done with that, you're going to press. So remember after always stitching, you go and press. Now we are going to join the sides. So we're going to pin the sides together. So if you first start, you can either start by aligning your waist or you can start by aligning the hem or you can start by aligning the, the, the armhole part. So you just align a part and then pin the rest. So once you're done painting, so you're going to start sewing. So you can either start sewing from the hem or from the armhole parts. I started sewing from the hem parts. So remember to always reinforce your stitches at the beginning. So remember that the seam allowance for the side is one inch, not half inch. So for the side is one inch. So I'm sewing one inch at the sides it's important that you get your seam allowance accurate if you used one inch and you end up sewing half inch your dress is going to be bigger if you use half inch and you end up sewing one inch it's going to be smaller so remember there's that seam allowance that you used and that's what you are going to stitch don't stitch more and don't stitch less and if you realize that you stitch more or stitch less on stitch and then do the right thing okay it's intentional that I'm using a thread color that is different from that of the fabric that's so that you can actually see what I'm doing but for you I advise you to use same color thread for the fabric so this is what we have so far remember to press it now we are going to stitch the zip line so you are stitching the zip line and from the hem up to the dart level so remember that the dart ends two inches above the hip line so we are stitching from the hem up to the zip line so right side facing right side so you pin and then you sew up to the zip and up to the dart level so once you're done painting, we are going to sew up to the dart level. So from the hem up to the beginning of the darts. So you end there. So once you end there, the next thing will be that the zip will be fixed from that place up to your neckline. 
but in this video we are not fixing the zip we'll be doing it in the next videos so this is actually where we'll be ending in this video so this is it and this is where we'll be fixing the zip So in the next videos, I'll be teaching you how to do what we call facing. So facing is for the neckline, you know, to ensure that your neckline is neat. So we have the facing for the neckline and also facing for the armhole in case it's a sleeveless garment. So I'll be showing you that also facing for the armhole if it's a sleeveless garment. And then of course, we'll be working on zip how to fix zip the normal zip the invisible ones i'll be showing you that and then finally also not finally we are going to um trace the sleeve pattern basic sleeve pattern you're going to learn how to fix it and then the final one will be working on the hem so that's the end result so far i've not fixed the zip remember So, so far, it seems that my measurements are accurate. I'm also not wearing a bra. So, if I'm to wear a bra, it's going to look nicer. But this is the end result so far with the measurement that we have and what we've done. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.